are going to start with the beef that we are going to use. These are short ribs that I cut into smaller chunks like this and they're boneless. We are going to season them before we sear them. So put a good amount of salt on them. About two teaspoons. Okay, and lots of black pepper. Okay, I'm gonna pop y'all over to the stove and we're gonna start searing the meat. And we're gonna do just a few pieces at a time so that the meat doesn't steam. We want it to sear real nice and dark. I have my heavy duty Dutch oven here that I'm gonna use for this because it's gonna, this is gonna cook for a good few hours. I have added some olive oil to the skin. This is already hot. You want it really, really hot so that when you place the meat, it starts to sear right away. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my meat that we've already seasoned, put it in layers. Do not pile it up on each other so that you can get a good searing. So we're gonna let them sear on one side and you'll know when it's ready because it'll actually release it. See how this is pulling? Don't pull. Just let it keep cooking, let it keep searing, and it'll release on its own. Okay, as soon as we're done searing it, we take out these and keep going with the rest of them. Okay, everything is nice and seared. I'm going to start removing the meat and we're going to start adding in our vegetables. I am going to start with the mushrooms. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more olive oil and I'm going to drop in my mushrooms. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to help these along. Now that our mushrooms have completely cooked down, we're going to start adding the rest of our ingredients. We're going to start off with some very finely chopped carrots. Now, the carrots you will not see at the end because they will cook down. That's why it's best to chop them very fine, very small. You can do it in the food processor if you like. I just chop them up with a knife. Whatever's easier for you. Okay, so we're going to saute these vegetables. We are going to add our onion and then saute these down for a few minutes until the onion is translucent. Now we are going to add in our garlic. These vegetables are nice and sauteed. We're going to add in our garlic. I don't like to put the garlic too early because I do not want it to brown because it will get bitter. Okay, so we want our garlic and we will start putting in our crushed red pepper. If you want to keep this kid friendly, you can just leave that out and top it with this at the end. Okay, and then our Italian herb seasoning. I will have everything listed below in the description box for you to look at. Mm, this already smells delicious. Okay, now we are going to add in our tomato paste. One can, one six ounce can of tomato paste. Okay, I'm gonna break that up. Our crushed tomato, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomato. Okay, we're gonna give this a good mix. And this is kind of thick, so we are gonna add a little bit of broth. It already smells delicious. Okay, and the last thing we add as far as uh, seasoning, we're gonna add some sugar. Okay, we're gonna add in our broth. I put in beef broth. If you wanted to, you could add in red wine at that point. If that is your preference, you could easily do that and our bay leaves. So we're gonna stir this until well combined. We're gonna taste for salt. This is where you're gonna taste for salt. And it does need a little bit of salt. And you can always adjust it later after, right before you cut off the cooking time, you taste again for salt. So don't over salt it right now. 
because this is going to cook down and reduce. Okay, that's ready to go for the meat. We're going to add our meat back in and we're just going to combine. Make sure everything is covered. Your meat is well covered. This is simmering already. I am going to turn down the heat to the lowest possible setting just to where it's simmering real nice and gently because we are going to leave this on the stove for at least three hours. So just check on it every once in a while and give it a stir. Just make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. I will see you back in a couple of hours. Okay, everybody. Our ragu is done. It smells scrumptious. Okay, it's been slow cooking for three and a half hours. And look at that. You can see just the meat, how tender it is, how soft it is. What we're gonna do now, we still need to shred it just a little bit. So I'm gonna take the meat out, the big chunks. I'm gonna take it out so that we can shred it with some forks and then we'll put it back in. And then all you have to do is take out the bay leaves. You don't want that on your plate. So we're gonna take those out and discard them. Okay, anything else that's smaller, you can just leave them in there. It's not a big deal. Okay, and then you can just shred it with two forks. Doesn't have to be completely thin. You know, just make it smaller than what it is. Okay, and that should be good just like that. Now we're gonna pour it back into our Dutch oven and then just give it a stir and we're going to start getting our noodles ready. Okay, I am going to use these egg parpadel noodles. I'm going to cook them according to the package uh, directions. So I'm going to get these ready and we'll be right back. Okay, we're going to salt our water. Lots of salt for the noodles. And these cook right away. I think it's just like five or six minutes because they're very thin. everything ready here our ragu sauce our noodles some toppings I have some red pepper some parsley and some Parmigiano Reggiano so I just get my noodles of course you do sizes however you want for your family and then you're gonna top it with your ragu and look at that mm -hmm. delicious Look at that. Delicious. Okay, let's go ahead and sprinkle some red pepper. Some more, some cheese. And some fresh parsley. Can't forget that fresh parsley. Look at that, guys. How delicious. Okay guys, this is going to conclude the video for today. I surely hope you enjoyed it. I surely enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Sorry I'm not coming out on camera these days, guys. But the allergies got the best of me and my eyes are swollen. And you just don't want to see that. I will have the recipe and everything listed down in the description bar. Just go take a look there for any information. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and I will get back with you. Alrighty, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.